People tell us every week that our information has helped save their life. If you agree that this is helpful information, please like, share, and most of all, subscribe because nothing makes a channel like subscriptions. So here's one of the articles we wanted to quote on this discussion. Current bladder, bladder dysfunction reports, 2013, the group was in Italy, in the US, PDE5 inhibitors, in other words, Cialis, Viagra, for the treatment of concomitant erectile dysfunction and lower urinary tract symptoms, benign prosthetic hypertrophy. And again, it, this stuff has become very common. When these things first came out 15 and 20 years ago, it, it fell under this thing about sex. You know, we don't talk about sex, any of us, very much, at least, you know, it, with serious productive discussions. And because we don't, we tend to be surrounded by way too much ignorance in this space, even among people who really should know. This article, by the way, explored the current evidence of prevalence on ED, LUTs, benign prosthetic hypertrophy, and the underlying factors involved. Why scientifically the PD-5 inhibitors made a difference. So a couple of comments about prevalence. This is from the American Journal of Medicine, Johns Hopkins Research Team, 2007. Approximately 18%, that's one out of five men, are estimated to have erectile dysfunction. There's a high prevalence of erectile dysfunction in men with hypertension, high blood pressure, and diabetes. Guess what? If you have cardiovascular disease, erectile function is a cardiovascular function. That's why we're talking about men's health. Our channel is prevention, but we're doing a lot of primary care, especially in the cardiovascular area. Current bladder dysfunction reports, 2013, Italy and the U.S. looked at things like metabolic syndrome. So it gets into the details of the science. You know, I tend to get very geeky in terms of the, the biology and the medicine, the metabolism. And that's what this article did. Most people that have any awareness of the mechanism of the PDE5 inhibitors are somewhat aware of the, the impact on nitric oxide. So nitric oxide and the vasodilation, you know, the dilation of the vasculature to allow an erection. But they also don't think about some of these other things which end up impacting the prostate. There's a big influence of metabolic syndrome on the development of ED, BPH, and LUTs. PDE5s have had the ability, these drugs have had the ability to address multiple mechanisms that lead to the development of these diseases. In the Journal of Sexual Medicine 2023, this year, U.S. research group, they looked at these things, again, Cialis, Viagra, the, the other PDE5 inhibitors in cardiovascular events and deaths. So once you start seeing this, people start looking at, okay, you know, what else does it impact? Does it actually prevent cardiovascular disease? There's still a significant debate in the literature over whether or not these prevent dementia. Actually, I had a patient just yesterday where this topic came up. He'd read it and he was asking me, do I think they prevent dementia? The answer is, I don't think so.